Walmart just started making home deliveries, so John Matarese took a close-up look at that for us today. Of course he did. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, he's also covering a special auction preview of everything but the house. That's where he's at right now in Blue Ash. John, what do they have there? Oh, it's amazing what they have here, Craig. You know, everything but the house, you might have heard of them. They're a local auction company that sells estate sales. They, they hold estate sales. You know, uh, somebody's unloading a house, maybe grandma passed away, and they have some of her goods. Well, turns out some of those goods are worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Look at some of these things here. We have plates. We have pottery from China. This is actually from Africa. Here we have a signed Hank Aaron Major League Baseball. That's worth a lot. I love this one, the book In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. This one was personally signed by the author. And finally, the piece de resistance. This painting over here, this is an original Henri Matisse or Henri Matisse from France. That is up for sale as well. A lot of these things just turned up in people's basements when they were going through homes. It's really fascinating. This will be happening all weekend here at Everything But The House. Meantime, our other big consumer story today is the launch of Walmart's home delivery service for groceries. We were there this morning as some of the first orders rolled out and we talked to customers to see what they think of this latest option. Who would possibly want their groceries delivered? Moms like Brittany Kramer with a cartload of kids. That's who. It's not easy at all. The ones want to look at this, the other one's running over here, the ones want to grab something different. And that's why Walmart and other major grocers are now launching home delivery for busy moms, workers with little time, and folks who can't get to the store. We were outside the Bridgewater Falls Walmart as its first delivery headed out. DoorDash driver Sagar Patel drove off to a nearby firehouse in Fairfield Township. How's it going, Sagar? Where Chief Tim Thomas was awaiting his firehouse staples. The chief says this could be a huge time savings for his crew. By the time you get in the car, go shopping, go back home, uh, probably about an hour. With the arrival of home delivery, you can expect to see more and more of these blue carts around your local Walmart store. These belong to the personal shoppers who will be going aisle to aisle picking up your order. How's it going so far? Uh, so far, the response has been great. Uh, DoorDash has been a fantastic partner for us. There hasn't been any kind of hiccups with the systems, and the customers have been really receptive. Walmart's Brad Terry says just go to the Walmart app, choose either store pickup or delivery, and place your order. Walmart will be among the cheapest options. Walmart's $9.95, Kroger $11.95. Whole Foods is free with Amazon Prime membership, but prices tend to be higher. Meyer is free with membership, but there's a 10% per item surcharge. Back at the firehouse, meantime, Chief Thomas says he can't wait to use delivery again. Perfect. Thank you so much. For now, Walmart delivery is available in six tri-state stores. You'll find delivery in Mason, Hamilton, Evendale, Western Hills, Florence, and Milford. And meantime, back here at Everything But The House, this landmark sale of very valuable finds from people's homes. This will be going on all weekend long. If you want to come up to their Blue Ash Warehouse, also you'll learn more on the Everything But The House website. You might want to check it out so you don't waste your money. Reporting live, John Matteris, back to you, Craig.